Hi guys, welcome to Ashwin Gad channel, making Africa home again, one family at a time. You know how we do it. Um, hope you're all doing well, wherever you are in the four corners of the earth and you're making gradual plans to transition from where you are back to the motherland, back to the, the, the amazing continent of all resources, as they call it, home sweet home. All right, so thanks to all our subscribers. Thanks for all your shares, comments, uh, bl blessings, love for the love to our Patreon and PayPal families respectively. So we're here again. This is a journey with Asher and Gad series. Uh, we're going to take you to a number of places uh, as, as long as our clients are happy for us to do so. So today we've come to a, uh, an area just off Spintex Road and um, it's Spintex Road sort of towards the Tema, Tema municipality. And um, I'm going to see an exciting development, an absolutely exciting development, which is a, a five story apartment building. A uh, really, 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 really good vision from this from this couple. A uh, five-story apartment building which has 16 apartments within it. You know, each apartment has a, a, at least two bedrooms. There's a swimming pool uh, at the higher levels, a gym, you know, car parking spaces on, on the ground. Really, really awesome. Uh, I've got a um, an architectural impression on your screen so you can see, uh, you know, what what is, is going to be like when it is complete. All right, so they've called in Asher and Gad to, to help out construction monitoring, help out with the electrical uh, design. Uh, they've already got the electrical, the electrical plan designs, but really to help out with the front end electrical design. Uh, they want to generate it, they want to solar and some other issues and really to monitor the installation as we go along to monitor the construction. So that's what we're here for. All right, so off Spintex Road, next shot, we should be on site. All right, see you guys there. Hi guys, so here we are in front of the uh, the complex which is um really um they've done the foundation they've done the ground floor we're going to go in and have a look this is a very very good idea and yeah i think i really love the the ambition of this couple all right so here we are uh, in the spintex area sort of tema heading towards tema let's go and have a look to see the progress to date and uh see what they're up to all right let me just turn my camera around Right, so here we are guys. This is the, um, the beginning of the construction. As you can see, foundation is done. They've got the ground floor up and running. All the pillars are up. See, all, 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 all the materials stored on site. You can see this is a very secure location, you know, which is absolutely very necessary when you're building. You need to have a, a place to store your materials. This is, this is all locked under, uh, under padlock and key, so that's great. They've, they've got Ghana water here as well. I mean, this is off, off Spintex Road area. So in terms of the uh, normal, let's say amenities, they've, they've got it all here. You know, they've got, they've got Ghana water here. They've got obviously electricity. They've also got their fiber connections. They've got, I mean, Vodafone have a fiber line here. So we have MTN, which is, which is, which is a plus for them. Obviously this is an, it's, this is an apartment complex, five story apartment complex. Okay, so it's a massive project. All right, a uh, really, really massive project. Um, about 16 apartments. Each apartment generally has two bedrooms, although there is an exception on the top, on the, on the bottom floor around about this place is a studio. And also there's a, I think there's a penthouse up on the roof, a, a lovely swimming pool, and obviously a, a gym as well. All right, well, let's go inside, see the guys at work. We've got, we've got steel benders working, masonry benders. Let's, let's just go inside and have a look at the work done so far before we head on to the roof. Right, let me go over, try and watch my step. Right, awesome, awesome. So here we are, here we are. I think this, this is the studio room. Got one of the builders hard at work. Fantastic, fantastic, awesome. We've even got a, a future lift in this apartment complex as well, which is a, a brilliant idea, obviously from ground all the way up to the, the top floor, the fifth floor. Again, brilliant idea. One, one, my only concern there is maintenance. You know, Ghana maintenance seems to be an issue sometimes. So um, great idea, get a good lift. Just make sure you've got a good maintenance contract uh, with your purchase and, um, and make sure they honor that contract. So that's, that's, that's where we are. Obviously some steel bending going on, which is great. 
as, as normal. Yeah, let's go. Let's go onto the roof to see what's happening. Oops. Let's go on the roof. Sorry guys, I'm just having to walk very slowly. Watch my step here. On site, so many trip hazards all over the place. I do have my hard hat on this time round, which is ne very necessary on a site like this. So this is, this is the view from the, the, the present rooftop. Obviously this is top of the ground floor. You can see all the, um, the pillars coming up through the building, which will obviously be continued as you go along okay all the necessary rain water pipes which will obviously continue up and up up the building as they as they add the, the, the stories these are obviously connections for 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 the um the wastewater from the showers jacuzzi and toilets okay the normal normal four inch pipe and connecting in very important here that the the builder makes sure there's no there's no um sort of no burst in the pipes no cracks in the pipes before they pour concrete and as they go along before they go to the, ne the next level because boy you know there was one of our buildings that we went to and it, it would appear it would appear that the pipe was actually broken and that was not spotted and the, and, and the concrete has been cast around it and what's happened is there is a significant amount of leakage coming into that person's property which is a huge huge problem really huge problem because the person has to has to break a few walls break a few a few slabs to uh to solve that issue and perhaps divert their existing drainage so it's a real 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 big real big pain real real big pain so so there you have it you've got the we've got a, a bit of an atrium atrium opening here as well so that will that will run from top to bottom give you a lot of lovely natural daylight into the space i think this is going to be an amazing apartment complex really really amazing it's a great location obviously rental is all about location 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 so i think this is a very 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 good complex and a brilliant idea uh, yeah i wish them all the best so asher and gada are working on behalf of our clients who obviously will remain confidential and um, they're based uh, somewhere overseas and we are liaising with them to make their dreams come true are you looking to build your dream home in ghana or are you building already would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports well if that's the case and that's you look no further asher and gag consultancy at your service we offer the following services electrical design construction monitoring inspections site progress reports consultation for all items mep witnessing of testing and commissioning periodic snagging vetting of specialist subcontractors report we also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much much more get in contact for your building needs details on the screen asher and gag consultancy make in Africa home again one family at a time so in terms of the um, the MEP services uh, what's important I'm taking my hat hat off because I'm on the roof but here it is for those who are wondering okay um, yes so what I was gonna say when it comes to apartments there are a number of considerations so it's a bit windy up here Hope, hopefully the audio is is, is suitable so when it comes to apartments there's some consideration when it comes to the MEP obviously apartment is all about rental so you need to make sure that the MEP services are designed so that the rental can be easier and well managed so for example electrically each apartment needs to have its own bill each apartment needs to have its own meter and its own electrical distribution basic okay it's ideally its own air conditioning system you don't want a central system when it comes to uh, a multi-tenanted building like this you want each apartment to have its own air conditioning system in order to 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 make sure that the electricity bill for that air conditioning is on the same supply um now obviously items like um you know the water system uh the common area lighting 
you know the water pumps these are common landlord services which will serve the tenants tenancy as well but the landlord will generally pay for those items but should also will definitely have a um, if you like a, a, a service level agreement in the contract there will be a proportion for each tenant to pay towards those common services the cleaning the general water uh, and everything i just mentioned general lighting etc etc you know um but looking at this building i've, I've had a look at the, the, the they had the electrical plans the electrical design which is brilliant you know all the lighting design has already has already been done for them the sockets have already been done for them the, the infrastructure coming in has been done for them um although there are a few errors on it um which is one of the reasons why we've been brought in to correct those errors and to to, to construction monitor the whole building and to the end now um what can i say a building of this size the transformer i haven't seen that particular drawing but i reckon the transformer probably needs to be at least you know 500 500 kva they're going to get their own ecg transformer okay on site and wire into it that way so this is going this is this is a commercial development so i just pray and hope that they have the right-minded electrician on the job who's done this type of thing before and um can make sure he gets everything right because ecg are, 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 are difficult a difficult bunch to deal with so anyway i'm gonna meet the um the builder soon the electrician soon to take me through what they've done what their plans are so we can guide them accordingly um our client has ambitions for um having a backup generator support as well as a, a solar system so we are going to be having discussions with the client to understand well okay fine you want a backup generator system which is great do you want to back up the whole apartment block okay which is obviously a, a significant capital um outlay for you if you're going to do that okay if you're going to back up the entire apartment complex with the generator we can put all the infrastructure in for you but obviously that generator will cost you a lot of money number one number two perhaps you decide that you're not going to back up the entire building the generator but maybe you're only going to back up the landlord areas as in the common area lighting the water pumps um, you know the common services common ventilation in the, in, in, in the central circulation spaces you know if you have a common space you could have a generator on there so that if there's a, a light off and people want to come come outside to just some or come into the central areas they can have lighting and power that way that would be a good compromise um, now However, the way the electrical building, the electrical design has been done so far, it doesn't really allow for that um, segregation. It's designed such that the, the, the generator feeds the whole building, but the size they've shown is not big enough. So we're going to have to engage the client. That's what consultancy is about. We're going to tell him what the facts are and, and what he wants to do, advise him in non-technical non language as much as possible, and then they can, him and his wife can choose what they want to do okay uh, similar thing with the solar system it's going to be an incredible cost if you if you want to put solar for this entire apartment block so really you probably want to put solar for certain loads maybe you know, lower loads like lighting sockets fridge freezers ceiling fans that type of thing to, to make to keep your cost low keep solar on those type of items and keep the normal ecg mains to feed the um you know the heavier items the air conditioning uh the, the water pumps you know the electric cookers if you're gonna have any th those type of things so yeah this is, a, this is, a, this is an exciting one uh, look forward to um, I look forward to uh, coming up with the right design solution for this couple great people great vision and uh, we'll keep you guys posted as well as we go along this is one of a this is gonna be a long-term project so uh, hopefully we'll be there throughout the entire duration regarding the solar system guys um, another um, another way you can design the solar system for this size of building uh, we did it we do this all the time in the uk is is you can put in a as much solar as you want okay on the roof or wherever and then what you can do if it's if it's too much hassle too much cost to segregate the loads as i mentioned earlier what you can do is you can put a lot of uh, the amount of solar you can afford and what you can do is you can connect it directly into the main switchboard what that means is that the solar system or the inverter of the solar system will, will run the output of it will run in parallel with the ecg main supply into your onto your building main distribution board and the, what that means is the the advantage is because you have a solar system generating power from the sun and it's running in parallel with ecg onto your main switchboard 
it means you will use less power from ECG okay electricity is very expensive in Ghana right now so you will use your so the power generated from your solar system to offset your ECG bills okay which could be very beneficial for you all right and you could also have a backup battery as well if need be but that may that may not work in this building because it's so big you may not generate enough power to feed the entire building during the day and have access to store in a battery because it's, it's more than likely that the building load will exceed the amount of uh, solar capacity that you can you know individuals can normally afford because this is not a company per se uh, but all that needs to be discussed with the client you know like i said we put ma mains in parallel with solar all the time you know it's a parallel system in feed system you know over in the uk and i'm sure in america you get extra benefit not just uh, if you're in parallel of the mains you get benefit that you're using less power from ecg for paying less bills but in, in these other developed countries you actually get a financial incentive in the uk it's called feeding tariff they do it in australia and all that yeah you you know the the electricity distribution of the government gives you money for reducing their their their, their um, if you like their load because if you've got solar in your house and you're in parallel with them it means they need to give you less energy and give it to somebody else so you're helping them financially but that does not exist in ghana as far as i'm aware yeah i don't believe you get any incentive from ecg if you have a solar system in your house or you have it in parallel with their system to reduce their load i don't believe that incentive exists so that's i guess hopefully that will that will change in the future if you had a feeding tariff that would be fantastic that would be fantastic because that would make solar systems even more economical for for the individual and make your payback time reduced on your on your on your on your investment and have a better return return on that investment uh, so that would be that that would be great but anyway we'll look into all these options um obviously i'd have to look in to see if ghana has the necessary equipment reliable equipment can to make this to make the parallel system work i believe probably some of these vic trend inverters should be able to do the job um, if the client chooses to go down that route, we'll have to make that investig investigation for for them, and then we'll see how it goes. Well, we'll keep you informed. You know, obviously this is, this is just an initial uh, site assessment. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we um, if we continue on this journey on this site. Uh, that will be down to the client. Um, but if we do, we will continue to show you progress uh, videos as we go along. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button so you always be aware when Asher and get upload a new chat, a new video for your educational and viewing pleasure. All right, so you're gonna journey with us, you know, as we go along. Uh, I think I had an invite to go to um, uh, Swedru in the central region, Kaswa, which I'm, I'm, I'm a tad nervous about, but um, I'm still gonna go. I'm gonna go to Kaswa tomorrow, 182 bedroom hotel amazing absolutely amazing and now I'll, I'll, I'll try and bring that to you as well all right guys so from god is chemistry and for me guys see you next time